Before we get into today's video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who went out of their way at the expo to come say hi or talk about the Jeep with me. To the few subscribers I met, um, thank you very much. It was awesome to meet you guys and actually meet the people that are commenting on the videos and interacting with me on social media. That was really cool and I know for my dad and I, that means a lot. So. I just wanted to say thank you that I was loving every moment of talking to you guys. That really means a lot to us. And I can't wait to just keep on growing and expanding and growing the, the Craft Off-Road family. So uh, with that being said, we'll get right into the date. With that being said, we'll get right into today's video. Today is officially the day my dad and I set off in the Crew Build to Overland Expo East 2021. Uh, this is really gonna kind of test the build and see what we need to set up in the rear for future trips, longer trips, things like that. So we're super excited. We've been looking forward to this day for a long time. It took us just about three months from the first cut into the Jeep to this day. We started July 6th. I believe that's three months, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we've, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. We've got everything in the back, gear is loaded, and we are on the road. We have a three hour and 13 minute drive, and we will make sure to update you guys when we get there. East here in Arrington or Arrington, Virginia. I'm not really sure which one it is, but we're about to get checked in and then we'll catch up with you guys after that. It was a very uneventful three hours, but we made it. The Jeep drives so good. It is so smooth. The Fox shocks, I, to everyone that recommended those, seriously, thank you, because it is insane how well this thing rides now. And we're just excited to be here. I cannot wait to show you guys everything. I'm trying to figure out if I want this to be one giant video or a bunch of different videos, but we'll figure it out. So I'm just glad to be here and show everyone what it's like. set up spare tires kind of in the way of the NX but it's all good we're gonna have some sausages tonight for dinner should be good but super happy with how the Jeep is looking with rooftop tent folded out this way and the annex dropping down right below. It's gonna be nice to have that annex open for changing and just staying dry and all that good stuff. Not having sausage or having meatballs. Using our cooler as a windbreak, but 
think they have mozzarella cheese in them, and then we have some coleslaw. Macaroni right salad and potato salad. And this is dinner for tonight. Potato salad, some mozzarella meatballs, and two slices of bread. We just finished dinner. It's actually really good. Um, we're just gonna walk around for a little bit. It's like six o'clock, I believe. 618. So we're gonna walk around, check out some cool rigs, and then we're exhausted, so we probably go to sleep pretty early, but pretty fun for the first day and making it down. Finally getting here, so. Yeah, we're excited for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend and see what we can get into. I can't wait to show you guys the KTL truck tomorrow. It's badass. It's nothing like I think anybody's ever seen, so it's gonna be cool to see that. Is that a Ram TRX? Yeah. Someone's got a Ram TRX right here. That thing's badass. I don't wanna infiltrate people's privacy I also want to see how many TJ's or LJ's are here because I feel like most people don't most people don't build out TJ's and LJ's right. to go overlanding so or just camping and stuff like that so it'll be interesting to see what we find super clean TJ Rubicon like that it's very clean Oh yeah, that's really clean. We just got back from walking around a little bit and uh, met a subscriber, Shane, who has uh, been watching the videos. It was really cool to meet him. And we saw a bunch of cool vehicles ready for day two tomorrow. See you guys. going on guys today is officially I guess you could call it day one I think this is considered the start of the expo but we are walking over to the KTL booth where the truck is we're going the wrong way I go this way um, yeah we're gonna go wipe it down there's a lot of water on it uh, from last night but we slept great or I slept pretty good did you sleep good I slept great it was awesome yeah so we uh First night in the new setup was nice. Having the annex makes our life a lot easier, gives us a place to change, all that good stuff. So we're excited. We had breakfast. We had some maple sausage and eggs and a cup of coffee, which co coffee, in my opinion, was disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get to work on wiping this truck down and catch up with you guys in a little bit. Guys check this rig out this is the truck that we've been helping out with but look at this
badass rigs here, giving me a ton of ideas for what I want to do in the future with the Jeep. Like this would be pretty cool on the TJ. This thing's badass. Guys, if you ever have the chance to come to an expo like this, it is so much fun just seeing all the different vendors and what they have to bring. It's almost like I'm a kid in a candy store and I just want to spend way too much money on everything I'm seeing here and it's crazy but if you guys ever get the chance you got to make it to one of these just seeing some of the builds that are here is insane let alone all the stuff you can buy the accessories things like that but uh yeah I've seen a few TJ's and LJ's but we'll keep looking around and see what else is here fancy some macaroni salad and then we have some potato salad too well I pulled the trigger on a KC Pro 6 50 inch light bar and uh, I'm excited can't wait to put it on I know I'm really excited to put that on and it's on back order right now so it probably won't be to me until like the end of November into December but it's all good everything in the industry is pretty much on that back order right now just excited to have bought it and now we I'm gonna to, have it. Got enough to keep us busy between now and then anyways. Oh yeah. So we're gonna check out some more rigs and show you guys what those look like.
what fun day today was. Um, it was only the first day, but it feels like we've been here for a long time yeah. already. Um, we've been hanging out at the Casey and Hemmings booth. I've been walking around. There's a ton of stuff I keep seeing that I uh, I want to buy. So, hey. um, yeah, we'll show you one thing. It's this uh, it's from Defiance Tools. It's a uh, multi-tool for cooking. It's kind of an all-in-one thing. It breaks apart, but it's got a spatula. And then, uh, so it opens like this and attaches to the, the tool itself. It's kind of like a uh, Swiss Army knife. It's kind of cool. And then this attaches like that. Now you have tongs. This is really cool, especially like finding stuff that will take the place of like six or seven six or seven different tools like multi-purpose yeah this I mean like this is so much more convenient for uh, what we're what we're doing and it's super small so I don't need to carry Multiple all uses. of these different things and uh, yeah so I'm excited to start using that we're gonna use it when we're gonna be cooking dinner and then we also bought a French press for coffee and one of the guys we camp with, Rob Anderson, he's always making coffee, so we're always kind of in competition, and now that we have a French press, we're gonna start competing with him. Yeah, because he uses a French press, and so he got us yeah. started on that, so. So he has some of the best coffee ever when we're camping, we're kind of. And we look forward to it, we're spoiled yeah. when it comes so, to that. Yeah, so now that we have a French press, we're gonna start kind of competing with him, it's gonna be fun. But we're gonna get dinner started, I think we're gonna have some Hawaiian sausages, um, just some random stuff, some yeah. Coleslaw. Yeah, so Bread. that's what we're gonna start cooking, making dinner, and then uh, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Tastes good? Mm. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> What's going on guys? It is Day two of the Overland Expo, but day three for us. Um, I slept a little better last night. Did you? Oh, I slept really good. Yeah. It's it's weird getting used to people walking around and talking, and we're just not used to that because we're used to camping in the middle of the woods. So that's one thing that kind of makes it hard to sleep, but rained a little bit last night, but it's all good. So we're going to see what we can get into today. And while we're trying to figure out what we want to do at Cherokee Chief, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this build, but look at how badass this Cherokee Chief is. This has given us a ton of ideas. I think it's got a 6.2 Cadillac engine. 6.3, I think. Something like that, but... It's, uh, it's basically a Cadillac drivetrain. Yeah. But uh, this is giving us some really cool ideas to do to our Cherokee Chief, leaving the kind of rustic look on it. But, uh, yeah. 14 bolt in the rear, a Dana 16 in the front. Yeah. It's, it's a badass build. It's just plain and simple, nothing complicated. Yep. I'm not a Ford guy, but this thing's pretty sweet. If I had one of these, definitely how I'd build it. Probably wouldn't do the trailer, but this thing's cool. I've driven a couple of these as rental vehicles and they drive really well. But they've done pretty good with this rig. Let me know if you guys like this. Would you rock it? I'd probably daily it. It's been a little bit of a crappy day. It's been raining this morning, but it, uh, it's finally starting to dry up and we're able to get out from underneath the tent and do some things and look at some cool stuff so we'll see how today goes hopefully it doesn't 
rain anymore, but uh, we're still gonna have a good time and enjoy the show. Well guys, that'll about wrap up the Overland Expo for us. Tomorrow is Sunday. We're not gonna stay long. We have some other stuff we gotta finish at home. Plus we gotta start working on this thing, get it finished completely. So uh, we're packing up a little bit, but we're gonna head out super early tomorrow morning so that uh, we can get home and still have stuff to do. It's about a three hour drive, which isn't bad, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to show a lot as best I could and kind of the things I was looking at and doing. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to get this thing on some trails and start camping out of it. I'm super excited. It's going to be a good time. So thank you guys and have a good one.